two, one. All right. Welcome to a segment for Dr. Feel Better. I'm actually known as a mantra brief, but Dr. Feel Better is what I'd like to have happen for you is so that you will feel better when we get done with this. <laughs> One of the things I'd like to first acknowledge is that our body's ability to heal is greater than anyone has allowed us to believe. So in the midst of all these scary circumstances, the virus, and all these other issues that we may have, the body waits and is ready to activate its healing energy at all times. We just have to cooperate with it in allowing it to do its best work. That starts and really and begins with being relaxed. The body only heals when it's relaxed. And so stress and being upset is one of the things that inhibits the body of doing its job, which is always to move towards homeostasis or balance. Just a little short story or a thought about that your body is so forgiving that you can cut yourself on purpose and it will begin to heal without asking you, why'd you do that? What's wrong with you? You know better than that. None of those judgments come in relation to the body. It just moves into healing mode when, as needed. So. Honor that, acknowledge it, and allow yourself to work with it because it's working with you. This is a kalimba, an African thumb piano. Very pleasant sound. Just something to help calm, calm you down, hopefully calming me down too. <laughs> in relation to healing. First things first, we're made up of more water than anything else. <laughs> about 60, 70%. And so if you think about with water and the value of it, if your blood doesn't have enough water, it gets thick like mud. Not a pretty sight. So drink water, not soda, tea, and all them other things. I mean, they, they're fine, but make sure you get enough water. That's first and foremost, if you're dealing with the body. Well, say first and foremost, that actually is second. Because first of all, there's breath. And taking a deep breath and a clear, complete breath is your most valuable thing. We breathe over 900 times an hour. So you get a lot of chance to practice. But when you're tense and when you're stressed, one of the first things that happens is you start breathing short. And there becomes an issue. The body is like, mm, I'm trying to figure this out, not getting enough air. What's supposed to happen now? And it goes into what they call fight or flight mode, where it's feeling like what's on the outside is more important than what's on the inside. That's a problem because it doesn't take the time to heal and put out those little fires of inflammation in the body because it's too busy fighting or running from something on the outside. And so that's what we're gonna have to feel our way, find our way to come out of. Very tough in these times because the information and the, the media is scaring us that almost to death, being scared to death, oh, isn't that funny? But uh, <laughs> about uh, the idea of you being relaxing yourself towards life in, rather than being scared to death. Now, it's one thing about fear, and fear does have its value, but fear is no way to live. And so you can take fear and carry fear along with you. But that's what a hero, a hero is still, still can have fear. It's just not letting, it's, they're not letting it stop them. So that's one of the things, that's some of what I'd like to share with you today. To 
that your body's ability to heal is greater than anyone allowed you to believe. So take a deep breath, relax yourself, and allow your body to balance and work itself to its best. And then we'll go on with some other parts of this segment at, at, a, at a time. But right now, take a deep breath for me. There we go. I'm gonna take another one too. That feels so good, you gotta take another one. Nice. And one more. Three deep breaths can change your life. There's an acronym called STOP. And it says stop, take a breath, observe and proceed. And when you take a breath and you're calm and it, that breathing with, with, at a good quality, you make better decisions, you have better ability to access answers to problems, situations, you're just more on your game. And you wanna be on your game because this life is requiring that you be on your game right now. So, all right, peace and deep breaths. Take care. My name is Amon Sharif, also known as Dr. Feel Better. I have a book of aphorisms here called Amonisms. It's helped me through some difficult times, encouragement, positivity, and appreciation. And so, would like to share this with you, and you can find this at awarehousehealth.com. That's aware, A-W-A-R-E. And this is how it looks inside. And one of the things they say, your life is a precious package handled with prayer. That's just one of them. So check it out. I think it can have value for you. It had value for me. I'm glad to share it. Peace.